Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today I'm going to be showing you my Beauty Choice Awards for 2023. Basically all the products that I've been loving this year. And I'm going to be applying them as we go along. So definitely get a little cup of tea, a little drink, settle down. And I hope you enjoy this video. Oh my god, why am I looking so pale? Obviously you guys know I always start with my eyebrows. And I have been so obsessed with this By Ellie Brow Texture. It's so good. When you have thicker brows and they tend to go downwards, you need something strong that will dry quickly and won't give white flakes on your eyebrows and won't look super shiny as well because some brow gels I've realized look really shiny I'm telling you this one is so good I just can't live without it I need to stock up especially this brow this brow is like my stubborn ass brow I did do a purple eyeshadow look and my eyes are looking a bit stained so mind that this dries so quickly i'm just gonna let that dry onto brow pencil obviously the nyx micro brow pencil has always been my go-to but i thought i'd change it up and another one that i really did like this year was the revlon color stay micro brow pencil it's literally like the micro brow pencil this one's in the shade soft black it's just really good very fine it doesn't tug too much this brow gel honestly halves my brow time it's just so good. I need to get a replacement of this, but this is the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer because you know you guys got really dry skin and nothing can beat this primer for me. You could also just go for the normal Pro Filter Primer if you've got normal to combination skin. And also like when you wear the normal one, it really does give like airbrushed, almost doll like makeup or like looking skin. It was super hard to choose my base, but I came, I came down to these three because these are the three that I used a lot. And obviously I discovered these this year and I can't stop reaching out for them. First one is the House Labs Skin Tech Foundation. I mean, it's just literally my skin tone in a bottle. I know my shade is 330 Medium Cool, but if you look on their website, cool is more like neutral olive tones, which is what my tones are. And it's just the perfect match for me, honestly. Then I got the By Mario Foundation in 15N. It's so good. It's so good. I love it. And then the Maybelline Skin Tint in the shade 45. I I think this is my second bottle of this. It's so good. But I think today I'm going to use the By Mario one. Oh, and also before we put foundation, the color corrector that I've been loving is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Corrector in the shade Mango. You don't need too much of this. Like it's pigmented, but it's really thin. So it doesn't give me like smile lines. It doesn't disrupt the formula of my base makeup. So any foundation or skin tint that I'm using sits really well on top of this. I'm also gonna use some of my spot here. I'm not gonna lie, there was some bomb ass releases this year. Brush that I have been completely obsessed with for my foundation is the Sephora Multi Textures, I think it's the 06 brush. It is amazing. Just look at that shade match, please. But yeah, this foundation, two concealers that I have been obsessed with this year. One was a new release, it's the Max Factor Multi Perfector Concealer, bomb.com. I think I used the shade 6N. And then I have been completely obsessed. I cannot live without this concealer, but it's not a new release. It's the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer in the shade Graham Cracker. Use this every day. At this point, I feel like I prefer it more to my Tarte Shape Tape. But this is a Tarte Shape Tape dupe. Like, it's literally Tarte Shape Tape, but like a fraction of the price. I'm gonna put that all over. We love a dupe out here. Blend that out. Do you see how easily that blended? It's so nice. Okay, so for bronzer, the two, I think nothing beats my Fenty bronzer in a caramel cutie. This is not, obviously not new, but you can tell I bloody love this stuff. And then one that I just can't let go of the charlotte tilbury one it's so nice i don't know why i haven't been using it but i'm finally making a dip in it it's humongous like it's i don't know when i'm going to be able to finish this but let's go with the charlotte tilbury one today you just do one side so you really can see the power of bronzer especially on my round ass face it doesn't contour but it just adds like a bit of depth and dimension to your face i kind of tend to steer away from cool tone products i don't know why i just don't like it on me like i don't I, and also i don't have i know we can imitate a shadow which looks probably nice from the front but when you look to the side it just looks like a gray line on your face because i have really round cheeks i don't like that so i just go in with my warm bronzers see like here it's just all one color but here you've got all that depth and dimension it just adds a bit of structure to your face and look how like 
bear in mind like I've not set anything and this bronzer just blends so nicely on top of everything all right so just going with my nose three blushes that really stood out to me this year this is the most recent one it's the hourglass unlocked palette in the shade snake in the shade snake in snake i think this is like a limited like holiday edition palette but the shades in here are stunning i've been using it in my last my few previous videos so i won't use it today but it's bop then i have used a lot this was a new release this year it's the charlotte tilbury pink gasm sunset blush I'm, i think i'm gonna go for this one today and then the made by mitchell blush in peach sugar it's so nice and melon sorbet to be honest these are just bomb and they're so affordable on tiktok shop i try and link one of my tiktok videos so you can try and shop it on there sometimes you get like offers discounts and like free shipping i even ordered like those korean noodles uh on tiktok shop free shipping it came and they were bomb they were so good tiktok shop is like my obsession anyways we're going to use this charlotte tilbury brush blush um you can tell she's well loved and to be honest you don't need too much of this stuff just me. another spot coming out just like to use this with my finger and don't be scared like you can always like use your sponge to tone it down if you wanted to and this one was for brown skin oh so good a recent discovery that obviously my laura mercier powder is like my go-to it's my baby but the easy bake press powder by huda beauty this was also a, another release this year and it has been one of my favorites usually i put my laura mercier powder first and then like go in with this but i'm gonna just use this to show you guys what it looks like on its own they actually recommend this like not as a setting powder but as like a brightening powder and you'll see like it will really brighten my under eye but i do prefer using this with my loose powder i'm gonna use some of the highlight in this palette because why the heck not for eyeshadow you guys know i've been loving this fenty beauty shadow stick in come and get it i literally use this every day like you just go in and then you put it all over Blend it with my finger. And I also put it under here. One eyeshadow that was very much loved by me this year, especially with the whole Renaissance Beyonce concert, is the um, liquid liquid blusher or like the blush lights in Drip Drip. I'm gonna do a little kind of line on my lid. I don't want to put it all over, but I just want to show you guys how good this stuff is. It's just like and the prettiest sparkle. Okay, I'm not going to touch it anymore because I don't have a thin brush to do this properly but I just wanted to show you how pretty and when you put it all over the lid it's stunning. I don't think anything has beat my Rimmel Glam Eyes liquid eyeliner like this is my go-to liquid liner. Like so. Just let, let's, 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 let's just let that dry. So I'm going to curl my lashes. Okay, by far my most favourite mascara this shit was the Fenty Hella Thick Mascara. It's so good. And I just can't stop using it. Okay, then we're going on to lip. I, oh, do you know what? It was so hard with lip, but I'm just going to go for what I've been really reaching out for. And a recent discovery for me this year was the Morphe lip liners, especially in Bite Me and I think Sweet Tea. I also love P. Louise in, I think it's Shady Lady. Uh, the Max Factor lip liner in Warm Brown. These are like all drugstore lip liners that I found. Because I always was depending on MAC cork, but all the, I just discovered all these amazing brown, affordable lip liners. I discovered this Gucci Beauty lipstick. It's just so lush in They Met in Argentina. It's like the perfect brown girl lip. Oh my God. And it feels amazing on the lip. Can we just get a moment for the packaging? Okay. Um... I also bloody love the, the Hourglass Glossy Balms. Must I say more? I use a shade Mist. I really want Lucid. Glosses. There were some bomb glosses this year, but the new Maybelline Lifter Plumps really stand out. Like, they make your lips look so different, especially this one here in the shade Hot Honey. I'll link my TikTok video in the comments below so you can, so you can have a full swatch video on this if you're interested. Um, and then also the Rimmel Thrill Seeker Glosses. They are bomb, so nice. When it comes to setting spray, 
I bloody love Charlotte Tilbury Saint Spray. I mean, you can tell like it's almost finished. And the Beauty Crop Glow Milk Mist, like these are amazing. This one's definitely more glowier than this but they both lock in your makeup and it's just so good. But I think I'm gonna go for the Charlotte Tilbury one today. Something that I've been so obsessed with this year as well is Heatless Curls. Obviously I've got one on my head now, but yeah, I have, I really like the ones from Give Me Cosmetics. These kind of like tie up on the top, so they're just easier to sleep with, but they do have a thinner tube. So I do like these ones I got from Amazon but these are just harder to sleep with because they're just not as cushiony. So I just use this whilst I'm doing my makeup, do a quick blow dry on it and my curls just hold. A dry shampoo that I really like this year is the Boots Blossom Dry Shampoo. Actually, when I got to work with Boots this year, I discovered this whilst I was working with them and it's just so good and it's super affordable. It smells bomb as well, like really fresh and florally. So yeah, I really like this. It just does give a little bit of a white cast, but I feel like that's when you know it's working. You just have to like rub it in and it goes away. But to be honest, my all time favorite um, dry shampoo is the Bum 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 Dry Shampoo. I have been completely obsessed with the Revlon Unique One all-in-one hair treatment. This has everything. It has like, it repairs dry and damaged hair, it detangles, it controls frizz, it moisturizes, it gives heat protection, which is key for me helps to prevent split, split ends. And it just, the smell of this literally smells like I've come straight out of a sal the hair salon. You know that, you know when you got your hair freshly done and you have that smell in your hair for a few days? This kind of gives that. It's so nice. And don't put too much because then your hair can, your hair can go a bit greasy if you put too much of this, but I love it so much. And I actually discovered it through a glossy box. So glossy box is kind of cool for like, because I would never pick this up, but because I got a mini size of this in a glossy box, I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this a go. And it was really the smell that caught me. It was so good. And it makes my hair look super shiny and everything. So I love that. Other heat defense spray is the Give Me Cosmetics. I mean, this is almost finished. Mango and passion fruit one. It's really, really nice. I am like halfway through this. It's, I just love to put this on my ends when I finish styling my hair. This was a recent discovery, but the Fenty Beauty body cream in warm cinnamon. This is not a cream to put every day because it has a bit of a shimmer in it. This is like when you're going out and you want your shoulders and arms to look really nice and glowy and pretty. Oh, this is it and you're gonna smell so yummy. <sighs> this does something to me. I don't know what it is, but oh, it's so good. Okay, let me untangle my hair and I will be right back. All right, guys, those are my beauty choice awards for 2023. These are all the products that really stood out to me throughout the year. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know a product that you have absolutely loved during the year. I would love to know. And yeah, I will catch you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.